Joining me now is Dan Henninger, the Wall Street Journal editorial page deputy editor and a Fox Business contributor. Uh, Elizabeth Warren is saying, look, I can be an authoritarian and an idiot at the same time, Dan. <laughs> That's one way to look at it, Dagan. Yeah, well, this is the real Elizabeth Warren, and this is the Democratic left, the left wing of the Democratic Party. Uh, they do not have a lot of, they talk about our democracy all the time, and I'm always fascinated by that phrase, our democracy. They mean their democracy, meaning they run the show and tell everybody what to do, not by holding votes in Congress, but by simply having the President of the United States issue one direct uh, executive order after another. And uh, by the way, did anyone seem sort of notice Joe Biden is probably the last person in this country anyone would want to see issuing executive orders right now with an approval rating under 40 percent. But it really smacks of the desperation that the wing Democrats like Elizabeth Warren have gotten to where they just sort of set Congress aside, the Congress in which she sits and says, let the president do it all. Uh, and she seems to think that if she uses this kind of sing-songy uh, grandma voice that people won't realize what she's saying is, is quite odious. Uh, and I'll just note, she's calling for a bailout of rich liberals. I mean, we've seen th this movement by this White House, but they're moving toward the direction of trying to cancel the $1.6 trillion in debt out there. And based on a breakdown, this is from the Brookings Institution, that a third of all U.S. student debt is owed by the wealthiest 20 percent. The bottom fifth of earners owe less than 10 percent. Forty percent of it is from students who got advanced degrees like lawyers mm -hmm. and doctors. So that's right. who they want to bail out? That is who they want to bail out. That's a very important fact that a lot of this debt is held by graduate students and people who went to professional schools. Ultimately, what they're talking about, it's wholly political, Dagan. The, the student debt bailout is about an, animating the uh, young left-wing base of the party, which is to say college students and young activists. Uh, college students typically don't vote in midterm elections most of the time, and especially now, they, like many Americans, are trying to get their lives back together, emerging from the pandemic. I mean, think about what college students have been to. They've been through lockdowns. They've been learning at home, just like grade and mid-school students. And they're not thinking about House and Senate elections right now. But the Democrats have decided if they just give them a big get-out-of-debt-jail-free card, they're all going to show up in these House and Senate elections around the country. Dagan, it is not going to happen. I think the Democrats are toast in November. And it would make inflation worse, which is the number one issue for uh, for voters, the economy and inflation. When you say you don't need to repay your debt, but you can just keep, we're going to give you cash every month. It, it, that is the definition of an inflationary policy. But I want to just read this to you real quick, because this is how bad it's gotten for the White House. Chief of Staff Ron Klain uh, tweeting about French President Macron winning re-election despite his low poll numbers, insinuating that the president that President Biden can do same. He wrote, President Macron appears to have secured a double-digit victory over Le Pen at a time when his approval rating is 36 hmm. percent. I just, that's hilarious. It's hilarious, but I wonder if Joe Biden's laughing. I mean, his own chief of staff is pointing out that his approval is under 40 percent, and he's trying to cite Emmanuel Macron as an example of what the American people are likely to do. But, you know, it's telling because the Democrats, especially the Democratic left, have always admired France and indeed Germany, right, as a model for what American politics and our American system should be. These are two democratic socialist states, France and Germany. They're hardly an example of where the, United, the American people want to go. But Ron Klain is obviously completely grasping at straws if he thinks Emmanuel Macron, who is pretty vital, is actually a right of center politician, has any resemblance whatsoever to Joe Biden right now. Gasping and grasping is how I, right. that, that's, a, that's a good bumper sticker for him going into the midterms. Dan Henninger, always a pleasure. I could talk to you for hours. All right, Dan. Take good care. to see you. Thank you so much.